Honor number four, H.R. 33. The Senate okayed one week of DHS funding by voice vote. Eyes appear to have it. Soon after, Democrats joined Republicans in the House to pass the stopgap. It avoids furloughs for 30,000 DHS workers, like most at the National Cybersecurity Center, and avoids TSA workers and Coast Guard, 200,000 essential DHS employees having to work without a paycheck. But House Speaker John Boehner had a bad day, pushing for three weeks of funding without defunding President Obama's executive order on immigration that conservatives hate. That took the power of Congress away from us. And 51 House Republicans said no to the Boehner plan to send a message. You can't keep bypassing the Constitutional and bypassing Congress. President Obama gathered his DHS team tonight and urged Congress to avoid any DHS disruption. And there will be within seven days full funding for the Department of Homeland Security. But that's not up to the Democrats. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Capitol Hill. The Republicans who run Congress have a week to find a way to weaken the Obama order on immigration and satisfy conservatives without weakening Homeland Security. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Capitol Hill.